In recent months, discussions about potential changes to Social Security benefits have been making headlines, with some proposals suggesting increases that could add up to $4,500 per month for beneficiaries. While such a substantial boost may seem too good to be true, it's worth examining the current landscape of proposed reforms to Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, and Veterans Affairs via payments. These potential changes could have significant impacts on millions of Americans who rely on these programs for financial support. The eye-catching figure of $4,500 per month stems from various reform proposals aimed at significantly increasing Social Security benefits. While this specific amount isn't likely to materialize in the immediate future, it represents the upper end of what some policy advocates and lawmakers are pushing for in terms of Social Security reform. The figure highlights the growing conversation around the need for substantial increases in benefits, especially in light of rising inflation and increasing cost of living. To put this in perspective, as of 2023, the average monthly Social Security benefit is around $1,700, with a maximum benefit of about $4,555 for those who retire at full retirement age with maximum taxable earnings. A boost to $4,500 for all recipients would represent a massive increase for the majority of beneficiaries. Several bills and proposals have been introduced in Congress that aim to increase Social Security benefits, though not to the $4,500 level. The Social Security Expansion Act, proposed by Senator Bernie Sanders and Representative Peter DeFazio, aims to increase benefits by $2,400 a year for all recipients. This would be funded by lifting the cap on payroll taxes for high-income earners. Currently, Earnings above $160,200 as of 2023 are not subject to Social Security taxes. Removing this cap would significantly increase the program's revenue, potentially ensuring its solvency for decades to come. Another proposal, the Social Security 2100 A Sacred Trust, introduced by Representative John Larson, suggests an across-the-board benefit increase for all beneficiaries and includes a more generous cost-of-living adjustment COLA calculation. This bill proposes changing the COLA formula to use the Consumer Price Index for the elderly CPIE instead of the current Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers CPIW. The CPIE typically shows a higher rate of inflation for goods and services commonly used by older Americans, which could lead to larger annual increases in benefits. The You Earned It, You Keep It Act, proposed by Representative Angie Craig, takes a different approach by aiming to eliminate income taxes on Social Security benefits, which could result in beneficiaries keeping up to $5,500 more of their benefits annually. Currently, up to 85% of Social Security benefits can be taxable for higher income recipients. Eliminating this tax could provide significant relief, especially for middle-income retirees who often feel squeezed by benefit taxation. It's crucial to understand that these are just proposals at this stage. They would need to pass through Congress and be signed into law by the president before taking effect. The path to major Social Security reform is often long and complicated, involving negotiations, compromises, and sometimes significant changes to the original proposals. The last major overhaul of Social Security occurred in 1983, highlighting the challenges of achieving comprehensive reform. Shifting focus to Supplemental Security Income, SSI, this program provides vital support to millions of low-income individuals who are elderly, blind, or disabled. SSI benefits have long been criticized for being inadequate and subject to outdated rules. As of 2023, the maximum federal SSI payment for an individual is $914 per month, which is well below the federal poverty level. The SSI Restoration Act aims to update SSI's outdated income and asset limits, increase the basic SI benefit to 100% of the federal poverty level, and eliminate the marriage penalty for SSI recipients. Currently, SSI recipients can have no more than $2,000 in assets $3,000 for couples, a limit that hasn't been updated since 1989. This forces many recipients to live in perpetual poverty to maintain their benefits. The proposed changes would increase these limits to $10,000 for individuals and $20,000 for couples, 
allowing recipients to build a modest financial cushion without losing their benefits. Similarly, the Supplemental Security Income Restoration Act seeks to increase the SSI benefit rate to 100% of the federal poverty level, update and index the general income disregard to $123 per month, and increase the earned income disregard to $399 per month. These changes would allow SSI recipients to work and earn more income without seeing a dollar-for-dollar -dollar reduction in their benefits. For example, under current rules, a recipient who earns $1,000 in a month would see their SSI benefit reduced by $462.50. Under the proposed changes, the same recipient would only see a reduction of $478, allowing them to keep significantly more of their earnings. Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, is another program that could see significant changes. SSDI provides crucial support to individuals who are unable to work due to severe disabilities but has faced challenges including long wait times for applications and appeals and benefits that many argue are insufficient. The average SSDI benefit in 2023 is about $1,483 per month, which can be challenging for many recipients to live on, especially given the additional costs often associated with disabilities. The Eliminating the SSDI Waiting Period Act aims to remove the five-month waiting period for SSDI benefits, potentially providing faster access to benefits for those in urgent need. Currently approved SSDI applicants must wait five months from the onset of their disability before they can start receiving benefits. This waiting period can cause significant financial hardship for individuals who are unable to work and may have depleted their savings during the application process. The Stop the Wait Act goes further, proposing to eliminate both the five-month waiting period for SSDI and the 24-month waiting period for Medicare coverage. This could significantly reduce financial hardship for new SSDI recipients. The current two-year wait for Medicare coverage often forces new SSDI recipients to deplete their resources paying for medical care or to go without necessary treatment. Eliminating this waiting period could lead to better health outcomes and potentially even allow some recipients to return to work sooner. Additionally, the Disability Insurance Modernization Act seeks to update the SSDI program to better reflect modern work environments and disability realities, proposing changes to the disability determination process to make it more efficient and accurate. This could include updating the list of qualifying conditions to reflect current medical understanding, improving the use of technology in the application and appeal process, and providing better support for individuals who want to attempt to return to work without risking the loss of their benefits. Veterans Affairs VA benefits, including disability compensation and pension payments, are also subject to potential changes. The Veterans Compensation Cost of Living Adjustment COLA Act, passed annually, adjusts VA disability compensation, dependency and indemnity compensation, and veterans' pension benefits. For 2023, the COLA increase was 8.7 percent, one of the largest in recent history. This means a veteran with a 100 percent disability rating and no dependents saw their monthly compensation increase from $3,332.06 to $3,621.95. The Major Richard Starr Act aims to allow combat disabled veterans to receive both military retired pay and VA disability compensation, eliminating the current dollar-for-dollar -dollar offset between these benefits. Under current law, veterans with less than 20 years of service who receive VA disability compensation have their military retirement pay reduced by the amount of their VA compensation. This offset, often called the concurrent receipt issue, has long been a point of contention among veterans advocates. The Honoring Our PACT Act, signed into law in 2022, expands VA healthcare and benefits for veterans exposed to burn pits and other toxic substances, potentially resulting in increased disability compensation for many affected veterans. This law adds more than 20 new presumptive conditions related to burn pit exposure, making it easier for veterans to qualify for benefits without having to prove a direct service connection. The Congressional Budget Office estimates that this law could benefit about 3.5 million veterans over the next 10 years. Looking at the bigger picture, Social Security faces significant challenges in the coming years. 
The Social Security Trust Funds are projected to be depleted by 2034, and if no changes are made, benefits could be reduced by about 20% across the board. This would mean a significant cut in income for the more than 65 million Americans who receive Social Security benefits, potentially pushing many into poverty. Demographic shifts, with an aging population meaning more beneficiaries and fewer workers contributing to the system, put additional strain on the program's finances. In 1960, there were about five workers for every Social Security beneficiary. By 2035, that ratio is projected to be just 2.3 workers per beneficiary. This changing ratio makes it increasingly difficult to fund the program solely through payroll taxes under the current structure. These challenges are driving much of the discussion around Social Security reform, including the proposals mentioned earlier. Policymakers are grappling with how to ensure the program's long-term sustainability, while also addressing concerns about benefit adequacy. Some argue for increasing payroll taxes or raising the retirement age, while others push for expanding benefits and finding new revenue sources. The $4,500 monthly boost mentioned at the beginning of this article is more of a conversation starter than a likely outcome. However, it highlights the very real need for significant changes to Social Security. The question is not whether changes will happen, but what form they'll take and how soon they'll be implemented. Any major changes to Social Security would likely be phased in over time to allow workers and retirees to adjust their plans accordingly.